you got to play against the legendary Jonah Lomu. What, you know, what, what was, <laughs> what was that like? Yeah, it, it, I mean, it was pretty scary. I think um, I, I recall what we played against him in at Newlands once, uh, the South Africa versus uh, New Zealand, and I, I did a line kick, but I didn't find touch, so I chased up with the chasing line, and he. I saw him obviously baking his way infield a little bit. So I actually, I actually stepped to the left to give him a little bit of a gap so that if he hit the gap, then I could try to tackle him from the side. But I, so I gave him a nice gap and he actually, he sidestepped the gap to run straight at me and run straight. So yeah, he, he was a freak and, and really, really scary. So um, yeah, I, for me, the best rugby player there ever has been. So he was really good. Yeah. So, I've got a question. So a lot of players now think that Joan Loma wouldn't be as dominant as he was back then because of the era and athlete, athletic development and stuff in the professional game. But you, would you say that's absolute nonsense? He'd still be as dominant as he was? I think he would still dominate, yeah. Yeah, no, so I do don't, I. yeah, I don't think maybe as much as he did, but yeah, I don't think he'll be far off. I think he would be... He would still be a beast. Yeah, he was yeah, horrific. Yeah. Sort of no, right. uh, um, we know you're involved with the South African rugby legends gang. How loose does it get when, when you when you guys all hang out together nowadays? Quite unreal. Yeah, it's it's good. It's good. Um, we actually every year we normally go to Bermuda. There's a classic uh, rugby legends tournament at the end of each year in Bermuda, and I mean that's. Yeah, that's great. pretty. Yeah, I, I, but it's quite full on. I mean, I go as the coach because there's no ways I would play. It, the the guys get stuck in. I mean, uh, Argentina are there, and and I think an Italian team where they train for months before they get there. Where our guys, they put their boots on for the first time when we go for our captain's run before the first game. So, it's it's pretty hectic. The the games are pretty physical and and full on, but the the guys play harder off the field. It's it's a good time and. Yeah, I, I find it pretty strange that the these. I think there's about eight teams that arrive in Bermuda, and they give every single player and, and management a scooter to get around the the island. So you can just imagine the chaos that goes on there. And yeah, luckily uh, everyone gets on the plane and goes home in one piece. But I'm not sure how they do it. <laughs> 